Hey everybody, it's Lisa with Nifty Vintage Necklace. Um, I just wanted to make another video today, say hi to everybody, and um, show a couple of my new cute dolls, and also show you a few cute necklaces I made in the last week or two. So, anyways, let's start now. Um, a lot of you are st diehard strawberry shortcake collectors, and a few of you um, saw my post probably yesterday, but I wanted to share my new strawberry shortcake doll. This is Plum Pudding, which most of you I'm sure know. And what makes her so special is she is really super rare, and you can hardly find her on eBay, you can hardly find her on Etsy, you can hardly find her in antique shops. So anyways, I follow a couple shops on Etsy, and this little gem just popped up on a listing, and I was lucky enough to get her for only $32. So anyways, I was stoked because she has her full outfit. She even has her glasses, which usually if you do find a plum pudding, she's either naked or doesn't have her glasses or she stinks. So she's pretty adorable. There she is. Anyways, today I am wearing um, uh, Blythe. And this is a cameo I can... Uh, blah. This is a cameo that I created out of a photography that I've been working with lately. Um, I've been taking pictures of my Blythe dolls and my other dolls and then turning them into really cute necklaces. So this is one that's like that example. If you can see it close up. That's my Blythe doll with a pink wig. Oh, it's so hard. Every time you turn these, it's like it's backwards, so I can never tell what's right. Anyways, and then my Rainbow Bright baby doll, which she is... Um, a really rare little doll too. So um, if you guys are interested in Blythe, check out my shop because I'm going to have some new um, photography prints available in 5x7s and 8.5x11s and they are high um, glossy prints so they'll be ready to frame and they're really affordable since I'm just getting started on that. And then of course if you have a request then I can do it in one of the necklace styles as well. So anyways, I was really excited about this little girl too yesterday, and like my post said, I needed another doll, like I needed a hole in the head because I have my workroom right here is basically full of dolls and full of 80s toys, but I couldn't pass her up because she's so special. I mean, look at that. So she's made by Madame Alexander, and she's porcelain which is just fantastic, and she's so cute. Look at how tall she is. Isn't that adorable? So cute, and her hat's like so puffy and adorable. Anyways, so I couldn't pass her up. She was really affordable. If you guys have a TJ Maxx nearby, you might want to check out the toy section because they have lots of Madame Alexanders. This was the only one that interests me because the other ones were mostly like baby dolls, but they do theme their dolls and... Um, this is a 2011, so it's not currently available on the Madame Alexander website. So that's what made it even more amazing to find it at TJ Maxx. I love that store, by the way. Not only do I love my junk stores, but I love TJ's. You always can find something amazing there. So anyways, those are my two doll finds for this week. And now I'll show you a couple new necklaces I made. Um, lots of girls asked for Miss Piggy. So here's a new Miss Piggy I made this week. Really cute and it's all sparkles because the cameo is like Miss Piggy in outer space and so I made it kind of like spacey looking with lots of glittery stars and shimmery hearts, glitter in the hearts and then the cameo itself is really glittery also. So that one's really cute and I'm pretty sure it's going to get swept up because I know that this girl who hasn't seen it yet, once she sees it she'll probably buy it. So hopefully she sees it today and doesn't miss out. Anyways, this is another one I made a few days ago, and I just love it. What I did with this one was um, this rhinestone portion is actually all connected, and it was a vintage necklace. Um, probably 1930s or 40s is when these types of necklaces were really fashionable. So I sort of mutilated it a little bit and left the bottom row and adhered it and um, added some really cute puffy flowers and then this giant My Melody badge and wowzers that makes a really cute necklace so anyways this is one I actually duplicated for myself because I bought 
two rhinestone necklaces, and of course I have more of those My Melody badges. So anyways, that one is still available in my shop, but who knows how long it'll last because it seems like people love My Melody, Strawberry Shortcake, Rainbow Bright, Hello Kitty, and uh, most of the Sanrio gang, and Barbie of course, the most. So here is another one I made yesterday. It was really hard to photo this one, so I'm hoping that if I put it on, it will give you guys a better view of it. Because it was a little longer, but it was it's really pretty. It's a little Twin Stars Halloween theme. And hold on one second, I'll get this on here. So I'm going to shorten it up by hinge, singeing it on like a... Kind of not necessarily where you would. I mean, you could you could do it higher, you could do it lower. I like mine to all be really um, close to my neck and in this style. Some people like them long, and then I have people who want them all 17 inches. So, anyways, um, this one is a little bit longer, as you can see. It's got the really pretty glitter um, star, and then the badge over here. <laughs> see, every, everything's backwards, and I always forget. Over here! That's... Which over here? Oh, my gosh. This is horrible. Sorry for being such a dunce. Anyway, so it's hard to see, but this is a little Twin Stars um, Good Witch theme. And then the stones are really pretty. They're um, opaque and kind of like a milky opal color. And then um, highlights of lots of turquoise and aqua blue. So, anyways, that one could be worn for Halloween, but it could also be... Um, worn just about any time, especially if you are a little Twin Stars fan. Ooh, what happened to my light? I think the sun isn't working with me right now. Just all of a sudden changed the lighting in here. Anywho, so let's see what else do I have to share with you guys. I haven't made a necklace out of this little guy yet, but I was going to show him. I did um, make the Aristocats one. And these are, I'm actually not going to tell you exactly who they are because then everybody will buy them. But um, they are released from Japan and they're adorable, the little cupies. Normally they're about this tall, so I was really happy to see these giant sized ones. Um, and I didn't travel to Japan to get them, I ordered them on eBay of course. But um, they're super adorable, so this is... Um, this is the last one. Oh wait, no, actually I do have a Dumbo theme one next. So I've got this one in Dumbo and then I sold the Jean Marie at Aristocats yesterday, which was a really cute, pretty pink one. Um, same type of cupy theme, but as Jean Marie. So that was really fun. So I've um, been dabbling into some hair bows lately because a lot of people have said, hey, you should make a hair bow. Hey, you should make hair bows. Well, they're pretty easy to make and um, I put them at pretty affordable too, always $10 and under. So here's like a really bright, whimsical one I just made recently. It's kind of like a melon tangerine orange, um, yellow polka dots, and then this is the Lisa Frank um, kind of signature mermaid. No, mermaid. I didn't do a mermaid one. This is the Lisa Frank signature unicorn. Oh my gosh, it's been too long since I've made a video. Can't you tell my brain is like not working 100%? But anyway, that's okay. We're all human here, so we, we're allowed to make mistakes. What else can I show you? This one is really cute. It ships out today, though, so um, it's sold, but I'll show it to you anyways. This was a really pretty um, Care Bear um, present one for, how, or for Christmas. Um, lots of pinks and reds. I love that one. So cute. But anyway, that one is sold. There'll probably be a few more Christmas-themed necklaces coming up. I'll have Christmas Hello Kitty um, and Christmas Barbie and Ken. Uh, what else? Um, I know I have some more Christmas ones coming up. Um, things that are on order. Christmas Hello Kitty, if I hadn't said that already, and Christmas Strawberry Shortcake. So anyhow, let's see what else I can show you. And then since my brain isn't working so good, I probably ought to wrap this video up. One second. Oh, I know. This one is super cute. It's on reserve for a customer, but nonetheless I should show because it's a, so cute. So this is a giant um, little Twin Stars one. The cameo is just really sweet with the pair of them. Um, 
And then the badges are huge, if you can see that close up. And then the necklace I used on it, these are um, all vintage beads, and they're all glass. So this one is really pretty um, as well. So if you're just tuning in, I'm Lisa, otherwise known as Nifty Vintage Girl or Nifty Vintage Lisa or found at niftyvintagenecklace.com. Um, I make character jewelry and I try to do only one of a kind. So one necklace, one time, and when it sells, you'll never see it again. Um, I also love toys and I am a diehard collector, so I will continually feature like all of my new little finds. My main thing is of course the 80s. I sell on Etsy an array of um, whimsical jewelry as well as vintage toys and um, my particular love also is um, mid-century modern um, objects, artifacts, and furniture. So tune in and if you want to visit me go to niftyvintagenecklace.com you can email me at niftyvintagegirl at gmail.com. And like I always say, if you like what you see, or at least most of what you see, then leave me a like, um, subscribe to my page, and then pass it along to your friends and family and say, whoa, this stuff is cute. Like this girl's page. Anyways, um, if you ever are interested in buying something, you can always feel free to message me, and I am more than happy to give you a coupon code so that you can make your um, shopping experience a little sweeter. Okay. So anyways, everybody have a great day, and until next time, I will see you then. Bye-bye.